I think you guys had a really good defense this year. I think it was good enough to a win the conference and even compete in the playoffs. That's yeah, yeah. that's what we're Solid. saying. And I don't know if that's popular or unpopular opinion, but just looking at like a the talent, b like scheme with what Coach G was doing. Like we had Cam in here talking about like how good of a coach he is. Like I think he'll probably start getting um, some head coaching recognition. Like if not this off season, but next off season. Mm-hmm. And like, look at the all ACC uh, selections. Like, how many dudes was it? Like yeah, four, we had a lot 13, this year, 14 a lot. guys? Yeah, something like a that. Lot. Yeah, like, bro, bro, even just in the lot. secondary alone with uh, Cam and James, what was it two top three or four arguably safeties, safeties in this draft? draft? If they both test well, you there's there's a you can see a world where they both go first round or at least first and second round. Yeah, like yeah. that's you don't see that often, bro. And, and to win, man. what was it, seven games? Mm-hmm. Like, damn, bro. Like, I hate the uh, the worst part is just the unrealized potential, man. Because exactly. if, if you're not good enough, you're not good enough. Like, you could say, hey, we got to get better. But mm-hmm. it's like, if you have the guys, man, it's just frustrating. Bro. I think it's that that culture shift, too. Like, I feel like last year they were, what, five and seven? Yeah, five, and five and seven. And, seven. and then, like, I feel like guys had to learn, like, how to win. You're right. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and, like, I learned actually. What learned it takes that. to win. Like, yeah. the process. And I think that's something that, you know, Crystal Ball, when he came in, he always talked about building the culture and setting the you know, right standards and stuff. So I think that was big, like you said. He, he's, he's big on culture. Him and uh, Coach Felt. Yeah, you know, he always he's really about big on culture. Culture, man. culture, culture. Because, you know, it's to a point where, you know, they don't have to coach as much. The leaders are able to lead the team. Like exactly. Cam, you know what I mean, and stuff. And James, they take over to say something. Everyone listens. Like, mm-hmm. we got practice this day. Play, lay practice, show up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone's going to show up. No one's going to be exactly. out while and out. So. That's the, what I learned the first day I got there. I mean, uh, Cam was a... He was a big part of my transition, actually. Yeah. You know, uh, and he was a big reason that I wanted to go there because it's like, who wouldn't want to play with the two yeah. best, arguably best safeties in the country? Like, yeah. And Easy. just talking to him, you know, first day I got there, he called a player-led meeting. And, I mean, I'm not used to guys. Like, player-led meeting, guys come in, they kind of roll in, you know. like Yeah, everybody will be there all the time be there, early. They just, they not, it's not the same as the coaches calling the meeting. Right, right, right. Cam called a meeting. I'm in the locker room, you know, I, I didn't even have a place at this point. So I was in Fort Lauderdale driving the mm. Gables. Like, so I'm in the locker room before everybody because I didn't want to uh, beat traffic. Everybody's in the building. Like, everybody's in there 15 minutes early sitting in the locker room talking. You're not 15 minutes early, you're late. I'm like, yo, this is a player-led. Like, we don't even have, a, like, an official meeting. Like, he's in there 15 minutes. Cam walked in the middle of the locker room like, oh, we're going upstairs. Everybody go upstairs. We go to the meeting. Nobody says a word. Just him. He's in there talking. Yeah. He asks certain people to talk. They talk. But it's just like, that's when I knew. Like, I didn't even know him like that yeah. at that point. But like. You're on a different level. You're on a yeah. different. Like, people, they believe. They have so much faith and belief in you. And like, this team is like all along. Like, you can really r- take this team wherever you want to go. You know yeah. what I'm So that was one big thing that just. Yeah. yeah that culture yeah. shift is, yeah. is happening, you know. Yeah. That's because I think, you know. Before <clears throat> before he came, Chris Ball came. I was with me and Diaz for a short amount of time, but everyone was saying it wasn't like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't, like, really, really any real leader. So that's why I think, you know, like, as you know, Miami has a talent, but it's all about putting that talent together. Exactly. And I think that's Chris Ball trying to create that culture and background. So mm-hmm. 